Biomes are the different regions on our planet, more specifically, the regional variety of ecosystems, climates, or landscape types such as deserts versus tropical forests versus tundra. These types of landscapes can be translated to how you set up your biomes in World Creator. Or you can simply look at biomes in World Creator as just an area on the terrain to design within. However you want to design the landscape, let's dive right into understanding how biomes and biome layers are structured. Expanding terrain and biomes, we see that our first default biome layer is labeled global. This layer, along with any layer type you add, can be renamed anything you want. So I'm just going to double click and rename this layer to base. We're going to start covering terrain details in the next video, but I'm going to reduce the general strength down to about 5% for now, which reduces the overall punch of the fractal noise on this surface. Our base layer is also color coded to the side, so you have a graphical depiction between multiple biomes. Speaking of which, let's add a second biome for some context and rename it to grassland. As you can see, adding the grassland layer has brought the fractal noise detail back in the viewport, but that detail is only present in the grassland layer. And if I hide the grassland layer, you can see the base layer still has that reduced detail that we changed before. This is because the grassland layer being on top takes the priority over the base layer. What we want to do now is control the amount of information present on the terrain with these two types of biomes. This is where biome layers comes into play. Biome layers are essentially masks for the biomes to know where on the terrain they should be distributed at. There are two ways to create a biome layer. Click the plus icon on the biome layer slot, then in the properties panel, select which biome you want this mask layer to affect. Or you can click the create layer icon to the right of the individual biomes and it will not only create a biome layer for that specific biome, but it will also automatically rename the biome layer as such. Now that we have created biome layers, the order at which the biomes are listed doesn't matter anymore since biome layers take control of this for us. So if you want, you can group or rearrange the biomes in any way you want, such as alphabetically. It doesn't matter. Let's control how our biomes are displaying on the terrain. Clicking on the grassland biome layer, we see it is fitting to our terrain's extents. We can control those extents by the four control points at the corners. The mask is showing red on the terrain, so let's turn that off here. And since we reduced the general strength of the base biome earlier, you can now easily see the detail differences between the base biome and the grassland biome. We can also view the different biomes by their color-coded profiles by clicking on the Show Biomes icon. Aside from scaling or rotating the biome layer mask, we can control its strength of blending. Blend size adjusts the smoothing or sharpness around the border, and blend roundness adjusts the border's corner shape. We can also edit the mask manually by painting. Clicking Edit reveals the Brush Tool panel on the left. From here are various options to manually paint your mask within the border of the area to which you scaled the biome layer to beforehand. Once done, click Stop Editing to close the brush tools, and from here you can again adjust the area of the mask however you want. The mask that you painted follows the border and boundary of that particular layer mask. You may be wondering why not just create a mask on the grassland biome itself? Think of biomes as the procedural element that designs details for the ecosystems and the biome layers are just the distribution of where those biomes will go no matter how many locations that may be. To exemplify this, let's add a second grassland biome layer. With the second layer, we have multiple ways to distribute each biome layer mask separately or together. If you change the grassland biome's details, it will change the details seen in all the biome layer masks as one. Plus, if you have multiple biomes, you may want multiple layer masks to have their own hierarchy. In this example, we have three different grassland biome layers between other biome layers, and these grassland biome layers are structured not only in a different hierarchy, but coming soon in a future update with different distribution rule settings too, giving you even more control and flexibility with your designs. Additionally, with multiple biomes and biome layers like this, it should be a bit easier on organization. A great way to focus on designing for different biome types without getting overwhelmed 
is to design the details of each biome separately on their own, even in a different project. Then afterwards, use the power of biome layers to plan out the different zones on the terrain you want these regions to be located. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.